Physical escalation was always something that I struggled with. I just found it super awkward. As in, you know, you're on a date, for example, with a girl. And like, how do you go from just, you know, because back then as well, I made the mistake of always sitting opposite the girl on a date, like in an interview. So quick note, if you're doing that, make sure you don't. Make sure when on a date, you're sat adjacent to the girl. So say she's sat there, you're like sat there. So it's quite easy to escalate physically. But that's a side note, right? I always thought, or I always, yeah, it was, I just found it really awkward, right? To go from a situation of not touching a girl to starting to physically escalate without it being obvious. You know, so say you sat there, right? I'll move back to try and demonstrate this. So like, you sort of sat there and then say, you know, I'm sat here, the girl sat there, or you know, I'm the girl, for example. I just found it really weird how to physically escalate without it just being like obvious. I'm just going like, <laughs> you know, just like grabbing her and it's like not calibrated. It's like, okay, we're not touching. All right, now I'm gonna touch her, right? That's, I always sort of just play that scenario out in my mind. Um, and you know, it sort of made me hesitate with physical escalation because I didn't want to come across as weird. I didn't want to, it's, you know, especially if it was going well up to that point, like I didn't want to make the escalation too obvious or come across weird in, turn, in case it, you know, turned the girl off. So, I mean, it's, it's sort of like a mental masturbation in my own mind. You know, that's, that's what it was, just like overthinking stuff, mental masturbation in my mind. And ultimately, you know, this stopped me from escalating in situations where I should have escalated, really. But then I came across a way where it just makes physical escalation a lot more natural. And this is what I use all the time now, even though like I am pretty confident now to escalate physically just in any situation. Like I don't need, you know, like context or like a pretext to physically escalate. I'm pretty confident to do it anyway and make it come across natural. But I still use this one tactic a lot because you know, some girls, especially like the girls that are a bit more on a shy and timid side, it can be, you know, a little bit too much sometimes when you're just unapologetically physically escalating. And obviously if a girl is like super into you, super attracted to, uh, super attracted to you, you know, it's, you can basically just get away with most things, right? But there's going to be times where you're going to meet girls that are a little, a little, you know, a little bit more on the shy side, on the timid side, maybe, you know, just gauging their interest in you as well. And this one way to physically escalate, like I say, it just makes it so seamless, so smooth and natural that no one's gonna think twice about it, right? And this tactic is to sort of incorporate the physical escalation into conversation. So what I mean by this is, well, actually, first of all, I'm gonna show you a clip of me doing exactly that, and then I will talk about it more afterwards. Wait, sorry to, I feel like I'm... Do you want to sit on the, on the coat? Yeah, should we just... I feel like it might be a bit wet. Should we sunbathe together? Go for it. It's oh. really sweaty, but... It's quite nice to soak up some vitamin D. Are you a good pillow, by the way? Uh, depends what... Should we see? Go for it. Oh. My belly, yeah, belly's good. Belly's oh, yeah? Good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a decent spot here, to be fair. There we go. Yeah, you're right, right. right, so what you saw there was an example of me incorporating physical escalation into conversation. Specifically in this example, I asked the girl if she reckons she would be a good pillow. Now, why exactly did I do this? Look, I mean, first of all, I've just met the girl. It's literally three minutes into an interaction, a cold approach interaction. Three minutes and one second ago, that girl did not know I existed. Right, but if I just lay my head on her lap with no context, I have no idea what her reaction is going to be to that. I appreciate, you know, that she's, she's sat down with me. You know, she's taking, time, she's taking time out of her day to sit down with me on the grass. So there's at least some level of, in, of interest there. Like I know that already. But I don't know how much interest. And if I don't test the waters first and just go straight into lying down on her lap, that could go really, really wrong. That could completely ruin the whole interaction. That could kill any little interest a girl had in me. 
because it shows, you know, an, an uncalibrated nature to my escalation. So the reason why I asked her if I thought, or if she thought she'd make a good pillow, was to gauge that interest level and therefore being able to escalate smoothly. So if she turned around and said, no, I don't think I'd be a good pillow, I would take that as a sign as her, you know, sort of shutting down that idea, right? If she turns around and says, no, I know that her interest levels aren't high enough yet for me to escalate further. And at that point, I'll push back, you know, maybe move myself half a meter away from her and continue the interaction as normal. And then look to gradually escalate again. But because she's getting, she didn't, she didn't give me a no answer, right? She didn't say yes, but she said, oh, you know, I don't know. That's like an invite, right? It's an invite from her to me to escalate further. Right? I asked her if she was going to be a good, if she thought she was a good pillow. She said, oh, you know, I don't know. That's an invitation for me to go, oh, well, let's see then. I'll let you know. I'll, I'll give you my own feedback. And at that point, I can physically escalate and rest my head on her lap because we've incorporated it into a conversation. It's part of the dialogue now. It's just like, it's always like a just common sense progression because you know we've discussed this, right? We've, we've, we've discussed her being a pillow or being a good pillow. So it's a natural progression for me to then test that theory to see if she is by physically escalating. Right, this is just one example, but there's so many different examples where you can use this, right? Use this concept to make your physical escalations seamless and smooth. So another great one, right, is if a girl's got tattoos. If a girl's got tattoos, it's so easy to physically, uh, physically escalate because you can ask her about her tattoos, right? And as she's telling you about her tattoos, you can hold her arm, you know, while you're inspecting. Or say she's got one on, on her shoulder or something. You can sort of peer around and you know, touch her shoulder as you're inspecting a tattoo. Because you either you know, holding her hands, you know, she might have some tattoos here, you might you know, hold her hand or you know, hold her arm or you know, put, put your hand on, on uh, her shoulder or her waist even. That's just part of you inspecting the tattoos that you've discussed. That's just part of you taking that conversation further, you know, you've had that conversation already, the only natural progression in that interaction is to then inspect those tattoos. And while inspecting those tattoos, you can, you know, hold her hand or hold her arm or hold her shoulder or, you know, touch her waist. It's a natural progression. And it's gonna, it's gonna come across really calibrated, really smooth and really natural. Another one, is the girl's nails, right? The girl might have had the nails done and she's telling you about that. So then, again, you can take her hand and inspect the nails. Mate, it's just so easy, right? Once, you've, once you think about, right? So a good way to do this is to think about how is the best way to escalate physically with this girl? Right, it depends, because look, every girl's different. Not every girl's gonna have, you know, her nails done or, you know, have tattoos or be in a situation where you're both sat outside in the sun and you can sunbathe on each other. Right, every girl, every scenario is completely different. So this part's up to you, mate. And again, it's gonna take a bit of practice, a bit of time, but eventually you will, get, you will get there to the point where, depending on the scenario, depending on the girl, you'll be able to establish the best way to physically escalate. And also, the best conversation topics to have in a lead up to that, to make that physical escalation as smooth and seamless as possible. Like I said before, you know, quite direct physical escalation, you know, is a great strategy as well, especially if you're a super confident guy. But you know, a lot of people won't be, right? You might not be, mate. Look, I wasn't for a long time, right? You might not be as well, and a great way to start getting into more and more physical escalation to build that confidence, right? Because that confidence only comes from positive results, right? 
you escalate in a few times, it going well, it eventually leading up to you know sex and what and whatnot. That's where the confidence is built. So until you get to that point where you're confident enough to escalate just whenever you feel like it, and it's still coming across smooth and natural, an absolutely fantastic way to escalate and it being seamless and smooth and socially calibrated is to incorporate a related conversation to that physical escalation in the lead up to the physical escalation.